So what if sea levels increased by 70 meters 500 years ago? I don't think we even knew what the sea level was 500 years ago. Did, did we even have a concept for sea level at that point? The cool thing about this scenario is that it literally affects every part of the map, but it doesn't necessarily affect every country. Some places are doing fine. One place that isn't doing fine though is England. I had no idea England had such slow sea level. Basically, the British Isles have just become the British archipelago. I I don't really know who's going to end up winning all these islands now. Also, Lego land is gone. I'm thinking about crab raving right now, but there is no more crabs to rave, I guess. I mean, they're definitely in the ocean if they are raving because there ain't no beaches anymore. We got a slightly bigger Black Sea, but a super thick Caspian Sea. I have a feeling this is probably going to affect Russia because they also have to worry about this. There's much less land to move through to get to Siberia. China looks disgusting as like a chunk of China still remains and then they had like some sort of disease continue to gnaw at it. Oh man, they lost their dong. While not too far away, Korea looks almost the exact same. I mean, yeah, they lost a little bit of coastline, but it's not terrible. Neither did Japan. Australia has a brand new inland sea. This is probably going to be the new home base of the emus for them to attack next. No more Florida man, which means this world's going to be pretty boring. Nobody like eating each other's face or anything. People partying in hurricanes. Honestly, I don't want to live in this universe. And Louisiana is almost completely gone. And there is a nice Californian sea. Gulf of California or something. Wait, they, we already have a Gulf of California, right? Yeah. There's actually so much more that I can talk about. But the last thing I want to mention is just the fact that like Brazil now has this crazy lake that goes in deep to the Amazon. The Amazon Sea is what they're calling it. I can only imagine like what this would even be like. We still don't even know it's in the Amazon. So I can only imagine the creatures that might lurk in this water. So the game still starts off where Denmark controls Norway and Sweden, even though Denmark basically doesn't exist. I have a very bad feeling that they're probably not going to have a good time trying to keep these guys under their control. Wondering if the top eight nations have changed at all since people lost a lot of stuff. Got a nation from India, Lithuania, Castile, the Timurids, France, the Ottomans, Mamluks, and Ming. I think this looks a little different, but I can't really remember. Oh yeah, lastly, um, there is no Pacific Islands. It looks like they're there, but they ain't. Which means if the British were to survive, I, I don't even know how they would get off anymore. Like, every island they take, usually they try my best to think of something appropriate to say. Uh, they nut every time they take an island, I don't know. So I'm assuming France is gonna have a pretty easy time kicking England out, because there really is nothing left for England to defend. Also, the HRE is significantly weaker without, like, Northern Germany and Benelux. But then again, if anyone was gonna defeat this world, it would be the Dutch. They need to somehow revive the Dutch. I think it's safe to assume that Portugal and Castile are just still gonna have a field day when it comes to colonizing. I don't know how much England's really gonna be able to do, and maybe France will be distracted or something. France almost already has all their stuff back, except for the island of Brittany. Oh yeah, it's Brittany, bitch. Whoa, Bukaki, let's, let's cool it there. We don't need you to be, like, spreading, uh, weird archipelagos in the Arctic. This is just... This doesn't feel right. I'm really hoping for, like, a Viking return because, I mean, who's really going to stop the Scandinavians? They can easily get to Canada. There is no one they got to worry about here anymore. Seems like a lot of space for them to work with, honestly. There we go. Portugal's already made it to, uh, Guyana. Or I guess this is technically Portuguese Colombia. Damn, Tyrone, what you doing over here? Tyrone just taking over everything. So even though China's a little bit weaker, they still have all of this control. Um, not, like, the biggest we've seen them, but maybe they'll, like, increase it. Uh, I completely forgot about the most important thing, the fact that we have a Suez Canal already. So I feel like that should completely make South Africa useless. Like, is anyone going to go to South Africa anymore? Even bigger than that, though, we have a Panama Canal and a massive Panama Canal at that. I mean, is there like two or three? There's multiple ways to pass through it. We already have a pretty thick Milan in Northern Italy. We actually only have a couple countries here in the Italian Peninsula. The Italian Peninsula did lose a lot more than I, now that I'm zooming in, I'm like, wow. Muscovy isn't looking so good anymore, which means maybe we won't even see a Russia. I mean, these hordes, they look really, really still very powerful. Oh, Timmy blew up. What a surprise. Portugal continues to expand Portuguese Colombia, and they've also made a little Brazil. I think they want to avoid the deep, dark dungeon Amazon Sea thing here. I'd want to avoid that thing too. Castile is exploring the new La Plata Sea, or Argentinian Sea. Oh yeah, and there's no Falkland Islands anymore. Whoa! What's Argentina going to do now? How are they going to make a great power super upset anymore? This really sad excuse for the Caribbean has been colonized almost entirely by Castile, and there is also a new Spain forming up in Mexico. They're taking out the Aztecs. France is completely united. They even got Brittany Island, and uh, now I guess they can just focus on pushing around the HRE. Oh no, where's Ulm? Is Ulm gone? Oh, Ulm's still there. Well, actually, that's not uh, independent Ulm. Yeah, that's whatever that is. Augsburg. Look at these three powers in Eastern Europe. Hungary, Poland, and Lithuania. Can they all push back the Ottomans? The Ottomans sometimes struggle in this game. And you know what? They didn't even lose that much. Well, they did lose Constantinople, or Istanbul, whatever you- it doesn't matter. I don't think they're gonna do that great of a job here. How is the Great Horde- what happened to the Great Horde? The Great 
Great Horde is an island nation, or at least somewhat of a naval type people. That's just a weird thing to think of. Actually, all these hordes, when I think about it, they, they don't don't put them near the ocean. Something is really wrong about this. Oh, Portuguese. Oh, South Africa is not going to be totally neglected because Portugal got down here at least. Big old Caucasus Mountain Nation, Shirvan. They have formed and they look like they'd be pretty safe. And Tyrone has formed Ireland, which Ireland looks to be the strongest out of the British archipelago. Or at least it's going to be close with them in England. England, just don't let them near your cars. Trust me. Portuguese Louisiana. Never thought I'd see it, but um, I guess here we go. And we do have Florida. Oh, these people probably miss Florida so much that they're making the east coast in honor of florida it's a sad day the persian region is just completely unrecognizable at this point i don't even know what's going to happen with this also let's not forget about india is india even going to be worth it for the europeans to come here are the europeans even going to be powerful because it kind of looks like they might not be well anyways india gets pretty strong at the end of the game maybe they'll be able to fight china or something we got a thick swedish boy up here he has taken over denmark and norway and he also got oh wait no he didn't get iceland norway by the way has made it to canada Please give me a Viking Canada. Sick of all their apologies up there. There would be no apologies in Viking Canada. Only raiding and sacrifice for Valhalla. South America is slowly being taken over. The Inca are being pushed out with Spanish Peru here. And Portugal has full control over the Amazon Sea. What the hell, France? What, what happened? Orleans just popped out of you. Also, Castile annexed Aragon, which means they have formed Spain. And they're not going to be friendly with Portugal. It's going to be Spain versus Portugal. A lot of it, at least. Pope looking good. Pope looking like he's about to start a... 10th crusade i don't even know what crusade he's on poland is being poland and uh they are getting crushed but this time it's by hungary and lithuania a little bit uh, they have scattered land here and there i don't know how they're keeping that oh japan is a thing okay so uh japan normally doesn't do a lot in this game i'm hoping they do something but they don't look as powerful as they normally are is that the damn egyptians again egyptians once again it couldn't be an eu4 video without egyptians in australia portugal did make it here and they've grabbed the portuguese era see is that what this that's what they're calling this also portuguese tasmania too. Just to confirm, the Holy Roman Empire, um, it does look weird, but at least it's here, and they don't really need to worry as much since, like, France, I don't know what happened to France. Oh, cool, just to confirm, there are actual trade routes that go through the Panama and Suez Canal, so, uh, this is gonna make a difference, it's not just, like, an optics thing. I think it's about time I start talking about this, uh, Brabantian Balkans, Brabantian Balkans. Brabant is, like, in Belgium, I don't know how they got this, probably a personal union, two countries married in, Habsburg style. Ooh, there's Wales! Wales is now a thing. Uh, Ireland lost control over, um, this Scottish island, though. Brittany was here at some point! When did Brittany get Britain Canada Brenton Canada okay so uh when France broke apart Britney Island got their freedom and now they made Canada I don't care who makes it I, I just don't want to see like Spain and Portugal get more stuff so Norway Brittany whoever wants this please take it dang okay yeah so Spain Spain's just going nuts they got all of Alaska all of Mexico a lot of this stuff down here Ottomans looking kind of weak which means that the Mamluks will probably be the strong power in this region of the world Ooh, Portuguese South Africa starting to come up against Kilwa Kilwa always has a good time going after stuff Madagascar and things Japan going imperial status they are already colonizing they're colonizing east si siberia because somebody's got to do it and i don't think it's going to be russia not a whole lot going on in the ivory coast but then again like what is there to take on the ivory coast like is there is is there even a reason for the europeans to come here spain's got some stuff but that's it uh ireland has taken over wales well i i don't care just someone to get get all the islands oh you could actually probably go after britney if you wanted to and we have lost britney canada so uh, i think it's safe to say at this point spain's probably the strongest in the world they got a whole bunch watch out for the mamluks though mamluks also getting indonesia it's getting spicy i think the egyptians like spice as much as the dutch i'm gonna start calling this the hot cheeto nation shit if indonesia had hot cheetos i'd take it over too oh ming got down here whoa ming colonizing some stuff so ming is doing fine spain is fighting portugal which means the entire western hemisphere is uh fighting each other wow this is really one-sided oh brazil got their independence that's why they're not involved there's like four or five countries in india right now no one looks too powerful so maybe we won't see like a great nation form here. Kind of forgot to talk about this island of North Africa that formed. I forget that that's a thing. Papal France! When did the Pope get all this? Oh, we also have revolutionary Spain. Why am I imagining like a short Francisco Franco that took over and he's about to just obliterate Europe? Brabant continues to make more gains. They got a little bit more of central Germany. Is it central Germany now since like, or wait, this is North Germany now since this is gone. Poland is gone. What a surprise. Lithuania has uh, kicked them out. Lithuania is tired of not getting any credit. Like whenever I mentioned Polish Lithuania, I I sometimes leave out Lithuania, and that makes a lot of Lithuanians mad. So there you go. Let's make you guys happy. Come on, Mongolia. Let's do it again. Let's take everything over. You don't need to worry about sea level. You can still go ride your horses. Japan gets a little bit more of Siberia. I, I don't know if... 
everything else is fine. Looks like they kind of maybe lost some stuff, though. Venezuela is now free, so Portugal is slowly losing everything. Yeah, they lost uh, Portuguese Louisiana. What the hell? Irish California. Okay, not gonna lie. This is definitely gonna make me bust. As someone with some Irish heritage, also from California. I don't know how they did it, but I'm pretty excited. I doubt they're gonna keep this. Spain's probably gonna kick them out, but just, you know, leave them alone for a second. Oh, no. Oh, what happened? Oh, Scotland had a lot of it, and then Scotland got kicked out. England almost doesn't even exist. Fickle Afghanistan with most of northern Persia. I like this, but they better worry about Delhi. Oh, no. Spain. Spain, what happened? Oh, you lost everything. We now have California, which is that Irish California? It might be. Then there's Illinois, Florida. Spanish Canada still exists. Uh, Spanish Canada. Thick Mexico, but they gotta worry about Brazil and Chile down here. So revolutionary Spain uh, ain't doing that well, I guess. We got a Saxony here in the HRE, but I don't think the HREs really needs... We don't gotta worry about the HRE. Muscovy forms Russia. They have the green color. They just haven't changed the name just yet. Sweden is starting to approach, though, which I don't even know how you can approach... Look how... Oh my god, I didn't even realize there was this many islands out this way. Bukaki, once again, looking big. They've been looking big all game, but they gotta worry about Persia, which I think was formed by Afghanistan. And Ming, and Delhi, and Mongolia. There's a lot of thick powers this way. The Spanish have made it to Indonesia. They wanted the hot Cheetos for themselves, I guess. The Mamluks still have some of these islands, and they've actually been okay with uh, Portuguese Australia. They've coexisted somehow in this continent. And actually in New Zealand, too. Well, these two are friendly. Like I said, there are no Pacific Islands, or almost none. These are the only ones, and I think that's by the Mamluks. Brazil is kicking Mexico out of Venezuela and Colombia. Well, actually, Mexico is having a tough time because they're getting crushed by Illinois and, yes, this was formerly known as Irish California. Irish California. They, they got independent, though. Hey, Norway still has kept some of their stuff, at least. Oh, but they've been banished from Europe. Is the Pope getting more powerful? It kind of looks like it. They're getting more and more of southern France. Big, curvy Persia. Look at this curve they got going on here. Oh, it gets even worse or even greater. I don't even know. So Russia formed, but they didn't do nothing. What the hell? What's going on? With, what was this? Whoa! Whoa! Wait a second. Right before our eyes, Scandinavia just got annexed. They got married. Some, that would definitely happen because of a royal marriage. Boom. Overnight. Brabantian Scandinavia. This is already a very strong nation. They already have a bunch of things here. Oop. Delhi. Delhi's gonna be the power out of India, it looks like. And no, no Europeans showed up to this hump continent. Like, they didn't get any coastline, nothing. Ming is also in Japan and Korea. How did little Korea make it to Japan? Reverse. Reverse card. Ah, oh, Japan, you lost your stuff up here, too. You lost it to the Chukchi? Really? Norwegian West Siberia. West Siberia. This is weird. Okay, so this is pretty cool, because this is only... The only universe we could see something like this happen. Norway, who has Iceland, and you know what? This is actually not even a far travel. Remember, we were used to being flat earthers here. The earth is not flat. Wait, spoiler alert. Uh, so it was actually like just, just kind of going up. I mean, they really didn't have to travel far to get this stuff. And look, they're gonna be the ones that'd be like Russia. Oh man, if only they didn't get kicked out of their homeland. By the way, we only have two Scotlands here in the British archipelago. It's uh this Scotland and then like ancient Scotland. Galid dumb. Galid that one. No Ethiopia, but we do have an Adol. Congo looking nice and big, and the Mamluks have made it to Central Africa. No way. No way. Florida? Florida, what are you doing, Florida? Why is Florida in Spain? It don't matter if the actual Florida isn't here anymore. The Florida man's spirit lives on, because look at these freaks. Just casually taking over Europe. That's never happened before. You can take the man out of Florida. You can't take the Florida out of the man. So Bengal, an Indian nation, has been slowly pushed out, and they're getting further and further into Southeast Asia. Delhi's also kind of cleaning up Ming. I don't think Ming's going to survive for much longer. Japan's doing their thing. Is that... Oh, that's Norway. Norway is going nuts. Norway's in Korea now. What is wrong with this game? Norway's actually up here, too. Norway's doing some freaky stuff. Norwegian West Siberia. They better hope that the hordes don't kick them out, though. Brabantian Scandinavia might be the only thing that's stopping Spain, because Spain started off so powerful. I don't see how else Florida got here. Florida with Navarra, they brought back Navarra. Mexico's still chilling. They're still allowed to stay in their spot, but man, they've lost a lot from where they started. Persia is doing the weirdest thing. Persia is just busting through Lithuania now. How is Persia able to... This is such a weird long nation. They're going long Chile status, I guess. How is Lithuania? This is not good. Lithuania usually does so good in EU4. They must have changed this around. Austria just barely exists. Oh, and the Ottomans are taking chunks out of Hungary now. It actually is starting to look like Europe is 
being affected more than other places. Europe doesn't look strong at all in this timeline. And it just keeps getting worse. We now have an established Persian Eastern Europe, although they are separated by whatever the hell that is. Persian Eastern Europe is now also hurting Russia. Russia's been having a tough time here. Oh, Chile's getting kicked out. I think Brazil's gonna definitely take over all of South America at some point. Oh, there was an independent Venezuela hiding here in Peru. Let's go, California. I can't, I can't help but root for Irish California with their Irish Californian lake here. Pope's taking stuff from Spain now. They grabbed Catalonia. Pope's crusading for Catalonia. That's nice. There's also Saxon Italy. So it's Saxony and, oh, France is gone. There's Saxon France too. And Brabant. Those are the two big powers in the HRE. If the HRE is even still alive anymore, I don't even know. Mongolia has taken Korea. I thought it was going to be anybody else. Japan, Ming, even Norway was here, but no. Never underestimate Genghis's ancestors. Wait, ancestors? I mean descendants. I cannot believe Persia's doing this good. How is Persia this powerful? With this weird, these borders, I don't get it. Big Caspian Sea must be having a big impact for him. Oh, wow, I did not, oh, I'm so dumb. How is it that I just now realized the Caspian Sea is connected to the Black Sea at this point, which means that they can make it all the way to the New World easily. And they've been able to do that for a while. Wow, that's really, is there, that's crazy. Let's go, Florida! Floridan, Floridan, Iberia. Oh, and they're getting help from Morocco. Reverse, reverse Inquisition. Spain is about to be sandwiched so crazy it's come to this point as Spain was like once the most powerful nation by far. Still two Scotland's up here, but I don't think that even matters anymore because look at this HRE. They've completely kicked out, almost kicked out Brabantian. Well, there's still this in Northern Europe, but uh, yeah. Man, Mongolia is having a futuristic invasion. It is like the year 2400, by the way. I forgot to mention that. They're trying again, baby, and it doesn't look too bad, but they gotta worry about Persia. And peace continues continues to prosper in Oceania. Wait, as I say that, wait, did something change right there? What the hell? Well, Portuguese Australia still exists and New Zealand's still chilling. I think Mexico's pretty much done. There is still Mexican Cascadia, but uh, Mexico's done. Now there's just California, Illinois, and Florida. Sad day for Texas or New Yorkers out there. I feel like they should, they probably feel like they should be included in this, but this is still a pretty good battle royale. Which state will come out on top? And Brabantian Scandinavia is officially gone. It is now all the HRE. This is a really late push for the HRE. Like, look how strong they've gotten. The Ottomans are gone too. It's gonna be the HRE versus Persia, and look how, oh my god, Persia's, this is nuts. Remember, this is an Afghanistani Persia. Can't believe Afghanistan has formed Persia, and then they've done all this. They're still going to. They, they won't stop. Somebody please stop them. No, California. No. Don't let them take your potatoes from here, too. Oh, it's they're gone. Let's check out the weird faith map mode. See what happened here. All of the Western Hemisphere, almost all of it is Catholic. There is still somehow some Incan faith. I don't know, in Venezuela. But most of Europe is Protestant. Almost all of it. Except for the British archipelago, and then Spain was holding up Catholicism. Obviously, when they were taken out, it's kind of slowly being taken away. We need those animal people and these fetishes to come together. That's how furries are born. In terms of culture, the Western Hemisphere is obviously Castilian, Brazilian, because it was just Portugal and Spain that got here. Love how Irish still lives on in Baja, California, though. And then there's Norwegian and Brittany up in Canada. Whoa. Alright, this looks very funky. Culture in Europe, very weird. And then we have an Oceania that, of course, has just Portuguese and Egyptian. I always love the development map mode because it shows you some of the most important locations in a world like this, and it can be really weird. Like, in the Western Hemisphere, I think the best pl place is actually somewhere here in Brazil. This is super rich for, like, a Western Hemisphere place. And then, also, is this North Carolina? North Carolina is kind of like the New York Long Island of this world. And then, of course, it looks real sexy in Europe. Not a surprise. Here we go. Who won this game? It's been about 1,500 years. The top eight. Coming in at number eight, we've got Illinois in this Indian nation, and then the Mamluks. Fifth, fourth, and third place goes to Ming. Ming did not get first. Florida. Florida man won, but Brazil is the strongest in the West. And then as for the final two, of course, it came down to Persia and the HRE. I feel like Persia is somewhat kind of cheated here. HRE has won, but, you know, HRE gets a really good, like, they got really lucky because they get all of Europe. Even though the HRE has technically won, I kind of want to give this victory to an Afghanistan-formed Persia. I think if we would have kept going, they were just taking over everything at this point. And big thanks to the January patrons. All in like stall. Aryan After Hours, Easter123, Elijah Senpai, Epi Nick, Fusion Wolf, Julius Cheezer, Lennon Lover, 419, Luxembourg Lover, Mac, Manny Manny 74, Space Period, Patrick C, Polovsky, Rolsey Tree, Stormtrooper 501, and Cloven. Thank you. Link to the Patreon is in the description down below.